Going under the knife for that extra nip, tuck, and lift can sometimes literally come at a cost to your wallet and ultimately your health if you don't get the proper care. There's a lot of uh, non-physicians injecting things out there. Uh, there's some um, kind of off-the-cuff medicine uh, taking place in spas. Dermatologist Dr. Matthew Knight says always do your research, especially now that facial fillers are in high demand. And some of the earliest signs of aging can be corrected by fillers, such as Restylane or Sculptra or Juvederm, uh, without having to worry about going to the operating room. Unlike Botox, which relaxes your muscles, fillers fill in unwanted creases like the ones around your mouth without going under the knife. Some patients aren't quite ready to go to the operating room yet. Let's say that they may be a great facelift candidate, but they'd like to put that procedure off for a few years. We oftentimes can offer them fillers uh, or other uh, injectables that can kind of turn back the hands of time a bit before they have to go to the operating room. But be warned, know who you're dealing with and exactly what you're getting beforehand. Things that are not FDA approved like commercial grade silicone, you're, you're just asking for trouble. Certainly you can get granulomas or nodules in the skin after filler procedures. Uh, with some of them, um, it's very, very rare. Um, a lot of times it's preventable with the technique used to inject them. And a lot of times we have ways of reversing them too. But always do your research before having any procedure done. Talitha Vickers, Fox 35 News.